All right, so let's talk about this challenge right here. Complete a sideways encounter. This is the legendary Torin quest. So first of all, to even get to this, you have to go to Torin on the map and talk to her to activate the monster research quest line. So let's pin her on the map. You can see she's located just southwest of Corny Crops and just northeast from the main center area on the map. There's a little house right where it's marked and she's right outside of it. Now, like all the quest lines, there's five challenges. They go from white rarity until gold, which is uncommon until legendary. So the first four are super easy. You have to enter the sideways, that's number one. Number two is to collect a sideways weapon. So there's a sideways rifle and a sideways minigun. Just pick up one of those. Number three is to damage players, that's real players, with one of those weapons. So you have to have either the sideways minigun or the rifle and damage someone 100 damage. Number four is super easy. Eliminate 10 cube monsters, so just the zombies that walk around. And then the fifth and final one is what you see right here, complete a sideways encounter. So a lot of people are struggling with this one, so I thought I'd take the time to show you how I complete it myself. In fact, I've seen people say that this is not possible in solos. They say if you go into a solo sideways encounter, you can't do it. There's not enough time, there's too many griefers, things like that. So we're gonna try. We're gonna see if this is actually possible. I'll give you some tips, some hints, and hopefully we can get this done. All right, so I'm doing a custom match here so we can tell exactly what you have to do to complete this. Now, what I think you have to do is basically win the mini game in the sideways. So on the map at all times, there's three different sideways anomalies. So let me just launch myself right here. And they show up as these purple marks right here. They're basically purple rifts. So there are all three locations. And again, this is completely random. So those are the sideways anomalies. Now this big bubble right here is the actual sideways. So this will appear on the map at random as well. But what I think you have to do is go into one of these purple ones, play the mini game and win it. And that should count as completing a sideways encounter, but we're gonna test that. So obviously you don't wanna jump into one of these right off the bat because you only have a limited time to complete the mini game. So if you go in there with no weapons, you're gonna have to scavenge a weapon, then try to eliminate all the zombies before the time runs out. Not to mention there could be other people entering with weapons that'll take you out. So your best bet is to land somewhere, anywhere, and loot up first, get full shield, get a solid inventory, and then go in. Now you may be thinking, well, what if someone else goes in and completes the minigame? That's fine, because if someone completes it, another one will respawn elsewhere. There's always three of these at all times on the map. You can see they all just disappeared and respawned again. So now they're over here, here, and here. They will keep rotating around and around again. So the number one thing you wanna do is loot up and have a solid inventory before you enter one of these anomalies. All right, so I just grabbed Venom Symbiote and I think I'm good to go. I don't have the best loadout, but I have a solid one. All right, there it is. So once you get close enough to one of these, it will automatically pull you in. So you can hear it in there, watch. I'll just slowly creep up on it and, oh wait, in we go. I thought it was gonna rotate. Okay, so get straight to work. Aim for the head if you can. You get, obviously, more damage to the head. There's a boss right there. Not sure what happens if you eliminate the boss. I've actually never done that. So we'll just avoid him at the moment. Throw down a few grenades. Hopefully hit him. So I haven't really figured out what makes the timer reset. Do a little get over here action. There we go. So the boss is almost dead. See, I got a nine second timer right now. Come on, come on, come on. But I think it's gonna restart in a minute. Nope, see we failed there. So we didn't even come close to winning. All right, I'm gonna try again here. I'm gonna loot up again. I think if you get a gold boss in the mini game, then it's gonna be very hard to complete because he's just so hard to take out by yourself in solos. So maybe that's what everyone was talking about because sometimes he will spawn in there with you as you saw. And instead of getting multiple zombies that you can take out, you're stuck with him who just absorbs bullets nonstop. All right, I've got five weapons this time. They're not the best, but maybe this will be good enough to defeat 
the sideways encounter. We'll get right to work. Not even going to grab any of those. Doesn't look like I have a boss. Yeah, going to town. Look at this. So far, so good. We're halfway there already. Let me grab some loot here. good to have multiple weapons like this so you can just keep cycling through. Unfortunately, I will have to reload here in a second. We're about 75% done. Do need to reload everything though. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we're almost done. We're almost done. We did it. We did it. So that is how you do it. Yes. So as you saw, just having five weapons should be easy enough to complete this. There's all the XP you got. Now, I am in a custom match, so that shouldn't have counted, even though it says it did. We'll see. So what do you get for completing the minigame? Well, let's see. 20 ammo, 5 cube monster parts, 36 ammo, 3 cubes, 50 ammo, 72 ammo, that's a lot. 11 cube parts, a nice epic sideways rifle. 30 wood. 20, 40, 36, 36. 14 cube parts, nice. 60, 18, so a lot of ammo. And there's some brick too, and then some heals. Is that everything? So you may be thinking, well, that's it, but look at all the ammo I have. That's crazy. And these cube parts are most important because look, for 25 parts, you can upgrade this. So I'm gonna upgrade it to a legendary. I think you can even make it mythic. Yeah, you can. So for 50 parts, you can make a mythic sideways rifle or a mythic sideways minigun. So you do need to collect the cubes, but completing the minigame is how you would do that. And of course, there's three more on the map. Even though I completed one, we can go back and do it again. But that's how you complete a sideways encounter. You gotta hope that you don't get a gold boss in there. Basically have five weapons, doesn't matter what they are. As you saw, I had all gray and one green. Just go through all the ammo of each one individually and by the time you run out of ammo, you should be almost done. Reload one of the weapons and then you should be good to go. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code which is Tabor time.